Thanks for joining us today. My name is Dominique Holmes. I'm the Public Information Officer of Hernando County Government. I would, go, I would like to go ahead and start off this ceremony um, for our Splash Park with an invocation. Can I please have Commissioner Laco to the podium, please? Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful weather today and this, this amazing breeze right now, Lord, as we get ready to break ground on the, the Rotary Splash Park here in Anderson Snow. Lord, we just we thank you for the opportunity to work together with those great people who volunteer in these organizations such as the Rotary for things that are will make the lives better of everyday citizens here in Hernando County. Lord, we pray that the construction goes quickly, smoothly, without any hiccups, Lord. And we pray, Lord, for safety over anybody who will use this Splash Park in the future. Allow this to bring tons of joy to our children and the grandchildren in Hernando County, Lord. And I ask all of this in your precious name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, so today we are celebrating a much anticipated amenity being added in Hernando County. As this county grows, it is wonderful to provide a community with a 6,000 square foot splash park. Through partnerships and teamwork, this specific aquatic playground will be recognized as a gift to the community from the Rotary Clubs of Hernando County. How about a round of applause for that? Woo! It is truly amazing when organizations collaborate and create a vision that comes to fruition. So at this time, I'd like to call up some guest speakers and representatives to share more details about this project. First up, can I have County Commissioner Donna Laco to the podium? I'll reiterate some of the things that I've already said in, in, in the invocation. This is this is what happens when you get a collaboration of, of a community and some of our civic organizations and the county to work together. Take that off my head before it blows away. Um, and to do what's right for the community. So much of, of what Hernando County or any government has to do is unfortunately to pay for, I can say, people behaving badly, right? You know, our court systems, our jails, you know, sheriff, all that kind of thing. Um, and this is an opportunity for us to work together to bring something back that allows our, you know, our youth to be able to do something safe and to cool off in the hot weather in Florida. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be amazing for our community. I am so appreciative of how many years it has taken for this to come. I realized it was a lot of hard work and the Rotary just kept plugging and plugging and plugging away. I mean, you've helped us with a dog park as well in Spring Hill. And people don't understand how much effort goes into making something like this happen and how many unfortunate years it takes. So I'm super excited to hear that the construction will hopefully be done before the end of this year. But all of the work that goes in and the preparation and the getting the funding together, the engineering, it just, it's a lot of work. And I want to thank the Rotary Clubs for being diligent and continuing to press on and press on. And I want to thank our, our, our government officials, um, our, our leadership in the county for being able to continue to push forward as well and do something that's going to be really appreciated by our community. This is going to be awesome. Our kids are going to love this. My grandkids are going to love this, and and I'm and I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to coming out here and just seeing a lot of children having a great time. So thank you so much for your efforts. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. This is an exciting day uh, for Hernando County, but this is also an exciting day for me. Uh, so it's a special day for me because I'm a Hernando County Commissioner, but I'm also a proud Rotarian. Uh, we got a lot of our Rotarian family here. And as Commissioner Olaco said, this has been a long, long journey. We finally got it across the finish line and we're, we finally made it to this day. And very soon, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see children and families having a great time as a community right here where we're, where we're standing. So it's so exciting. Uh, like uh, Commissioner Olaco already said, I can't thank the Rotary enough uh, for having this vision and, and being determined and sticking with this task and getting it across the finish line. Uh, you know, Rotary's motto is service above self uh, and giving back to our community. And what a way to give back to our community with doing something as, as big and as special as this that's gonna make a lasting impact uh, for generations to come. So thank you again to Rotary. Uh, thank you again to, to all the staff that has made this possible. Uh, and getting the funding and getting everything to this point. Uh, it's an exciting day, let's celebrate together. Thank you. Hello everyone. Today is a long time in the making. Five years ago, three local Rotary Clubs, Brooksville, 
Spring Hill and Spring Hill Central elected to make a difference in our community and collaboratively the idea of a splash park was born. Before we talk about how this was achieved, let me provide you with some background about Rotary International. Rotary is a global network of 1.4 million neighbours, friends, leaders and problem solvers who see a world where people unite and take action cre to create lasting change across the globe, in our communities and in ourselves. Our mission is to provide service to others, promote integrity and advance world understanding, goodwill and peace through our fellowship of business, professional and community leaders. So, five years ago, all the Rotarians in this area made a commitment to the local community to help raise funds for an inclusive splash park to benefit residents. It's been an amazing journey. We lost some good people along the way and the ravages of the pandemic slowed us down somewhat but together with the most excellent county team at Parks and Recreation, lots of fundraising and shared vision, we're finally here today to celebrate a momentous achievement. During this process, the Brooksville Club was the fiscal agent on behalf of all the clubs and point of contact for all negotiations with the county. April Johnson Spence, who is a member of this club, come on April, <laughs> Um, we'll tell you a little bit more about this and then the presidents of the three clubs will explain just how they raised $100,000 for this project. Um, if David Ginger from Brooksville, Art Fultz of Spring Hill and Keani Segway of Spring Hill Central could come up to the podium also. Um, they'll, they'll briefly explain how they managed this gargantuan task and I'll hand you over to April. Thank you. She's amazing. Thank you, Nikki, so much. Uh, so five years ago, our Rotary Clubs had a strategic planning session on how we could work together to give a gift to the community. Um, in that conversation, we bounced around a lot of ideas, but we set on that splash park, splash pad idea, not realizing it was going to be so amazing. Um, we worked to put the contract together and decide the terms financially uh, with Harry Johnson. God bless him. Uh, he was amazing to work to, and he's like, you want to give us money to help Parks and Rec, we'll take it. What can we do? So it was wonderful working with Harry. And then Chris Lindsvik took over. And really, he is the brainchild of the design and the way that this park had come together. Um, I'd say he's an artist in his own right. So thank you, Chris. It's been amazing. Um, and then Chris moved on to some bigger and better things. And we got to work with Rob. And Rob is making this come to fruition. So you guys are the epitome of service above self also. So come to our Rotary meeting. We'd love to induct you. Um, <laughs> uh, but the Rotarian clubs have worked really hard together to raise the funds for the commitment to, uh, financially to help with this park. And um, we just want to give back to the community and you guys are making that possible. So thank you guys so much. And I think David's got a word or two to say. Sure. Good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you again, April, for all your hard work through this process. This started when she was president, just going into the pandemic, and um, she's really done an unbelievable amount of work for this. So, April, thank you so much. Um, I was pleased to be at the meeting when uh, the county commission was able to bring this to the table and get it through. So I'd like to thank Commissioner Olaco, uh, Commissioner Campbell, and the rest of the county commission for making this happen. Um, it's been a lot of hard work, and, you know, for a cheap plug, the reason we brought this money together is because of our online and radio auction that we do every year. So if anybody wants to tune into XJB and listen, and on 103.9, the boot, we do it every year. And uh, this is what it allows us. This year, I believe we did just over $40,000 to be able to get the funds toward this. So thank you to the community for supporting us in that. Um, it's just a tremendous honor. and. It's going to be great for uh, my good friend Tamara to be uh, the president of the Rotary Club, hopefully, when this is completed. So we'll look forward to having you out here when, uh, when we get this thing open and cut the ribbon. So, but thank you, everyone, for all of the hard work, for all of the support, and uh, for everything that you've done for the Rotary Clubs and for the community. Thanks so much. Hi, um, I am acting president right now, but I will be currently uh, 
the real president of Spring Hill Central Rotary Club on July 1st. Our um, president right now is unable to be here for family emergency purposes, but Nikki was actually our president um, back in the day in 2018, 2019. We were raised $20,000 to be able to donate um, to this park. We are a small um, but mighty club. We're under um, 10 um, members at this time, but we continue to raise money um, to continue to support the community. We also are part of the uh, Rotary Centennial Dog Park. Our club um, has uh, raised money to be able to fund the, that park as well. So we continue to be able to help Parks and Recs and to uh, good things in the community. So thank you very much. And I'm so happy to be part of this. I love it when a plan comes together. I'm Art Fultz and uh, proud to be the president currently of the Spring Hill Club in the uh, sunset of my term uh, to be followed up by Sean Bradley in mere weeks. Um, so uh, we did a, a, we have a number of fundraisers that contribute with, along with our partner uh, clubs here in Hernando County and uh, among them for instance every time you heard somebody yell bingo at the hall in Mazark Town uh, it was a win for that bingo player and it was a win for the kids and families who are going to be able to just enjoy this uh, amazing water park so uh, that together with um, our 50-50 raffles at our meetings and a pancake breakfast, uh, every little bit helps. And uh, we're proud to be uh, contributing partners to this amazing project. Thank you. And welcome on this beautiful day today. I, I was talking to my guys out there in the field and uh, they said this breeze just picked up recently. So thank you for that, Lord. We certainly do appreciate it. Um, first of all, I'd like to echo the, uh, the, the thanks that's already been given here. Uh, to the, the Hernando County Rotary Clubs. Again, without their their uh, guidance and their perseverance, this, this would not have taken place. Uh, this is something monumental for the people of, of Hernando County, and I'm, I'm very, very, uh, I feel blessed to be a part of it. So thank you all for that. Uh, I, a couple other things I'd like to pass along. Uh, we, again, uh, to our community, uh, uh, I'm sorry, our uh, community services director, Chris Lindsbeck, uh, for his visionary leadership and perseverance as well. Um, I came into this project kind of, not, well, not quite halfway into it. The planning had pretty much been done, but um, Chris really, when I came on board, he brought me up to speed on what was going on, and he's been a driving force in this project uh, during the transition. Um, I'd also like to thank our project manager, I don't see him, uh, Keith Larson. Um, there he is, Keith Larson. <laughs> uh, he's, the he's, he's the gentleman who has been keeping this project moving since it started uh, last fall. Uh, he's making sure we get a good product uh, in the end here for the people of Hernando County uh, and keeping it running on time. So thank you very much for that, Keith. Uh, finally, I'd like to thank my staff out here, um, all of our Parks and Rec staff, but especially our staff out here at Anderson Snow Park. It is a monumental task to keep a park that is so heavily used, such as Anderson Snow, open during a large project like this. This has been a multi-phase project. Uh, first phase was uh, an improvement to the parking and asphalt, uh, re re resurfacing all the asphalt areas. Um, making uh, better ADA accessibility in the park. And um, we had temporary closures uh, during that time. And my staff was just they're very diligent and very helpful, uh, willing to do everything they can to keep, keep the park open and running. Uh, and that includes all the athletics that go on here uh, nonstop. This is one of our most heavily used parks in the county. So I really want to say thank you to all my staff for that. Huge, huge, huge endeavor for the, those guys. So, I kind of came here to shit, geek out on some details of the, uh, the splash pad itself. Uh, and I'll just take just a second, uh, just give you all a little insight on what kind of technology is involved in this park. This is a cutting edge splash park. Um, the, uh, the, fil the filter system uh, is, is comparable to a municipal potable water uh, treatment plant. So it means you're going to have top quality water in the splash pad. Um, you're, it's filtered, uh, rough, let's see, was it filtered to chemically treated and uh, UV treated to Florida Department of Health uh, swimming pool engineering standards. Uh, the, 
the complete water filtration turnover, which means all the water in the system will be turned over every three minutes. So that's it's constantly cycling the water through. Uh, every three minutes it goes through a complete cycle. Uh, state, of, state of the art filtration system size to the equivalent of a professional 50 meter co competition pool. So it's a lot more than what we really need, but it's going to make sure we have good clean water for the splash pad. Um, of interesting note, uh, this uh, splash pad is designed to for 174 person occupancy. That's huge, 6,000 square feet of actual wet surface. So that that's gigantic, um, and that puts us in the top five percent. Of uh, the largest government-owned and operated splash pads in the state of Florida and beyond, so that's huge. That's right here in Hernando County. So thank you all for that. Uh, just kind of want to put some numbers so everybody kind of understands the magnitude of this project. So thank you all. Have a good one. Um, well, great. I, I really appreciate learning a little bit about the Rotary Club and process there, and thank you for sharing that. And, uh, learning that all those bingos and uh, whether it's a pancake breakfast or the auction uh, contributes to this, right? And uh, and I'll put a plug out next year, you know, uh, there's a lunch that the Rotary Auction has every year you can have with me and you can find out the next great project that the county's working on. And so next year, look for that Rotary Auction. And uh, and I always try to beat the sheriff every year. And uh, this year, I think he might've got me this year. I got him last year. so. Uh, Help me beat the sheriff next year and uh, who raises more money for the Rotary Clubs in Hernando County. But, uh, uh, so likely, thank you for the Rotary Clubs and uh, your, your uh, initiative to get together, an initiative to ask the Hernando County government uh, for an improvement to our community. Um, this is a great project where, again, we show where the government listens um, to the citizens. Uh, that's how this really started, was a request of the Rotary Club to move forward with this. And then from that, the county government, uh, we thought about putting this project out here and we had to do it right. So we did a master plan on this whole project. And at that, we went out and we brought in a university, Florida State University uh, here to help us master plan this, all this property. And this flash part came out with asking all the citizens as a top project there also that the citizens wanted. So the Rotary were correcting their vision for all the citizens that responded to those surveys. Um, so we, we master planned this in the right location. We had to move, as, as we moved, we had to move the maintenance facility here um, so that we can plan the future of the rest of this project. And this project, uh, Robin explained all of it, it really ties into the future, right? Some of the parking we're building here for this project relate for the future needs of other ball fields and baseball fields that'll be added in the future. We're looking currently to add some multi-use fields. Last year, the Board of County Commissioners funded the design of some other uh, multi-use fields that'll be going on just on the other side of this building so that this, uh, this initial project here with parking and accessibility and uh, will, will lead us to be able to add some more improvements, whether it's for the flag football teams or the soccer teams out here. And then long-term, a baseball complex for the uh, girls softball definitely needs some more improvements out here as we're a growing community. Um, so thank you for the Rotary and thank you for all your staff, Chris and Rob, for moving forward. I want to also thank the county of purchasing and legal staff and OMB staff for figuring out how to get this thing over the finish line. And definitely the Board of County Commission for their commitment um, to improving recreation in our community. Um, um, so next, uh, the funding. One of the things great about this project is the funding. Um, besides the, the cornerstone funding from the Rotary Club, that significant improvement com contribution to this community, then that the rest of the funding, majority of it, comes from impact fees. So as our community is growing, we have funded majority of cost of this project uh, from then people moving into the community, businesses growing here. And so their everyday tax people are not paying for the majority of cost of this project. And so we'd like to use those impact fees the best of our ability going forward um, for these improvements. And lastly, I just want to thank, uh, this is a great project. I think it's been mentioned that um, not only for um, the children to come play, it's also great um, for our, our, our community quality of life. It's great to have low cost, um, uh, accessible areas for families, um, no matter the income, can come together, have a joyous day together, release some of that stress, make memories, right? And just as a great, as we grow up here and then live here and our children grow up and live here, it's another great reason why people should um, live in Hernando County, grow their businesses in Hernando County with these amenities for their families to come to and use. And so with that, I, I thank the Rotary Clubs, the Board of County Commissioners for their commitment and our staff, so thank you.